For millions of years, Earth was a realm of titans. We often picture colossal dinosaurs or towering mega mammals. But what if I told you that long before their reign, the planet was dominated by a different kind of giant? Creatures that scurried, crawled, and soared, ruling the land and air with car-sized bodies and wingspans longer than your arm. They were the original giants. They were the bugs. Today, we're plunging into the Carboniferous period, roughly 359 to 299 million years ago, an era of lush, swampy forests, massive oxygen levels, and the undisputed reign of colossal arthropods. This was the age of insects, and these weren't just big bugs. They were ecological architects, fundamentally transforming our planet's very atmosphere and geology. Welcome to Terra Time Capsule, your time machine to a forgotten world, where we explore the strange, the savage, and the spectacular life before humans. To understand how bugs grew to such incredible sizes, we first need to understand the world they inhabited. The Carboniferous period was dramatically different from Earth today. Vast, equatorial swamp forests covered much of the land, trapping enormous amounts of carbon in the form of decaying plant matter. This process, over millions of years, led to the formation of the immense coal deposits that power much of our modern world, hence the name Carboniferous, or coal-bearing. But this widespread plant growth had another profound effect. It dramatically altered Earth's atmosphere. With so much plant life photosynthesizing and so little decomposition, as much of the dead plant matter was buried before it could fully rot, oxygen levels soared to unprecedented heights. At their peak, oxygen comprised up to 35% of the atmosphere, compared to today's 21%. This hyperoxia was the secret ingredient. For insects and other arthropods, whose respiratory systems rely on oxygen diffusing directly through tubes called trachea, higher oxygen levels meant they could grow larger and still get enough oxygen to their cells. It removed a major biological limit on their size. So while early tetrapods were still relatively small, scurrying through the undergrowth, the stage was set for the arthropods to truly dominate in scale. The air was thick, the forests were dense, and the conditions were perfect for bugs to become beasts. In an atmosphere supercharged with oxygen, the skies of the Carboniferous were patrolled by truly monstrous insects, far beyond the size of anything flying today. The undisputed king of these aerial giants was Meganeura, resembling a modern dragonfly, but on an unimaginable scale. Meganeura had a wingspan that could reach up to 75 centimeters. That's almost 30 inches, or two and a half feet. Imagine a dragonfly the size of a hawk darting through the ancient trees. This aerial hunter was a formidable predator, likely preying on smaller insects and early amphibians with incredible speed and agility. Its massive, intricately veined wings, supported by the oxygen-rich air, allowed for sustained, powerful flight. Even larger, its close relative Meganeropsis from the Permian could reach wingspans of over 70 centimeters. These were not slow, cumbersome giants. They were apex aerial predators, maneuvering with precision and speed in their dense, oxygen-rich world. But Meganeura wasn't alone. The Carboniferous skies were filled with an array of gigantic flying insects, from colossal ancestors of cockroaches that could glide between trees, to various forms of ancient damselflies and other winged pioneers. Their sheer size would have been a terrifying sight for any terrestrial creature looking up from the forest floor. The air itself was a bustling highway of enormous, buzzing life, a testament to the power of hyperoxia to unlock new evolutionary possibilities. While the skies were ruled by enormous insects, the forest floor and swamp edges were dominated by another colossal arthropod, Arthropleura. This creature was a true behemoth, 
an ancient millipede relative that could reach astonishing lengths of up to 2.6 meters. That's over eight and a half feet. Imagine a multi-legged invertebrate longer than a small car crawling through the ancient undergrowth. Arthropleura's sheer size made it one of the largest land invertebrates in Earth's history. Despite its intimidating appearance, it was likely a peaceful herbivore or detritivore, feasting on decaying plant matter and fungi on the forest floor, playing a vital role in nutrient cycling. Its vast, segmented body, supported by hundreds of legs, allowed it to navigate the dense carboniferous vegetation, leaving behind fossil trackways wider than your body. These trackways are crucial evidence of its immense size and terrestrial locomotion. But the Carboniferous ground also held its share of formidable predators among the arthropods. Enter Pulmonoscorpius, meaning breathing scorpion. This was a true giant reaching lengths of up to 70 centimeters, over two feet. Imagine encountering a scorpion larger than your arm, scuttling through the ancient leaves. Its powerful pincers and venomous tail would have made it a terrifying hunter of smaller invertebrates and even early tetrapods. Its existence serves as a stark reminder of the sheer scale of the arthropod empire. The Carboniferous was a time when the boundaries of arthropod size were pushed to their absolute limits. The ground was alive with these enormous, multi-legged creatures, filling ecological roles that would later be taken by much larger vertebrates. From the soaring Meganeura to the colossal Arthropleura, the age of insects was a truly astonishing chapter in Earth's history. It reminds us that dominance isn't always about the largest vertebrates. Sometimes, the most profound transformations, the most incredible stories of gigantism, come from the most unexpected corners of the tree of life. Their legacy is etched deep into the planet's crust in the form of the coal that fuels our modern world, a silent testament to the raw power of ancient life. What do you think is the most astonishing prehistoric insect? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're ready for more incredible journeys into Earth's astonishing prehistoric past, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Terra Time Capsules, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Keep exploring the grand, wild history of our planet with us.